All right, I know if you saw a picture of our Weed of the Week, you might go, hey, that's not a weed, that's my crop. Well, this isn't the crop sunflower, this is wild sunflower that is a weed if you're a corn and soybean farmer. All right, there are a couple of weeds that do get misidentified as sunflowers sometimes. One is cockleburr. Now, cockleburr, if you look at the stem, it has kind of a leopard print on the stem, little black spots all the way up, where sunflower has some thick, bristly hairs going up the stem. And then you look at marsh elder, that's another one that looks kind of like sunflower, that's got a smooth stem. All right, if you are a sunflower producer, you know that sunflowers are kind of sensitive to a lot of things out there. They're sensitive to everything from the HPPD chemistry to 2,4-D, dicamba. So there are a whole bunch of different ways to control sunflower. It's not usually that big an issue to get it stopped. But nevertheless, we want to talk about control in a number of different crops. All right, coverage is really important. If you've got a big sunflower plant, you've got to get right in the center of that crown. That's where you can do the best job of coverage. And if you're using great big spray droplets and, and not getting much coverage out there, that's where we see poor control in sunflowers. All right, I don't know that I'm that worried about the crown. I want to get product on the leaves. And ideally, it'd be nice to have smaller droplets if you can. But even if it's dicamba, 2,4-D, Roundup, a uh, big droplet will be fine. Uh, probably the biggest thing for me is just making sure that you're getting this plant under control when it's small. It's a lot easier to kill when it's two to four inches as opposed to when it sprouts up and gets up to a foot tall. All right, in soybeans, I like metribuzin in the pre-program. Uh, in post-emerge applications, we've done a good job with Pursuit and Raptor over the years. Uh, first Rate has been a good sunflower product, and also Roundup and Liberty are effective. And certainly the Extend, uh, the Dicamba would work fine on that. Uh, if you turn to corn, real simple, you got to make sure you have like Verdict or something down. Uh, even Sure Start Triple Flex will have decent activity or one of the HPPDs follow post emerge with an HPPD or status. And Wheat Sharpened followed by Husky is the best plan. Well that's it for our Wheat of the Week, Wild Sunflower, but stay tuned, Iron Talk is coming up next. <music>